In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA playoffs late for Saturday, May 4th. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our Saturday, May 4th NBA playoff bet slate we got going on. But before I deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetsJetsD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about the Patreon. Right now, we're at the home uh, the homepage of the YouTube channel. Currently at 4.84 thousand subscribers. Our goal is 10K. Uh, so we are getting our way there, almost halfway there at the 5K mark. Let's continue to push forward there. Uh, thank you guys for all that you do showing that love and support. If you're already subscribed, continue to like and comment. That's gonna help the YouTube algorithm reach a broader audience. If you're not subscribed right now, you guys are missing out on the community that we're building on YouTube and on Patreon as of right now, all right? So if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button right now. Join the squad and you will not miss out on everything we put forth. Obviously, bouncing off ideas, future bets, the, the list goes on and on. All right. And speaking of that Patreon, we had a pretty solid day here um, on NBA. So you just see a little bit of how the plays go um, for the NBA. We had Magic money line. The over was 200. The game literally went to 199. The total of that game went to 199. It's crazy. All right. But we hit on Mavericks money line. Mavericks uh, to cover that seven and a half. That hit as well. So for the NBA main plays right there, three out of four. The props that you see right here, um, that went four out of six. For MLB, that went four out of six. All right, we only got two wrong with the Guardians and the Marlins. Um, and then we had the early game hit right there. Brewers and Cubs under seven and a half that cash as well. So for the entire day on Friday, we were 12 out of 17. All right, that is 71%. All right, 71%. That is... 0.7058. You can round it up. That's 71% there on Friday. So if you want winning plays, sign up for the Patreon right now. That link is provided down below. And I have the NBA Finals Future in there as well. If you want to see what that is, sign up for that link down below. So for the Saturday slate, unfortunately, it is only one game. All right. That was up to the 76ers and Knicks. If that would have went to game seven, that would have been played today. Um, also, another series, if they would have, if they didn't close out, that would have been played today as well. But we got one game, one game for Saturday, Minnesota Timberwolves, Denver Nuggets. This is a Northwest Division matchup here. These two in particular teams here, um, the series was tied during the regular season, two to two. Two went to the, the Nuggets and two went to the Timberwolves. So these guys battled it out and now they're going to battle it out again in the playoffs. The two versus three seed. Um, so very, very intriguing matchup here. Looking at the odds. Nuggets, home favorites, minus 190 on the money line with the comeback of the Minnesota Timberwolves at a plus 155. The point spread is at a four and a half and the total is at 207. And a half. All right. For the public bet percentage, 87% of the bets, 82% of the money on Denver. But the point spread, a little bit of difference here. 61% of the bets um, on the Timberwolves to cover, but 55% of the money on uh, Denver to cover that four and a half. So split right there, sharp money coming in on the Denver Nuggets to cover the spread. For the total, 94% of the bets, 95% of the money, um, all over the over 207 and a half, all right? For the injury report, the Minnesota Timberwolves, clean bill of health there, uh, but for the Denver Nuggets, we are waiting on news about Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray right now is currently with a left calf strain that he had um during that la lakers series and he is questionable for game number one definitely stay tuned to news that's why i provide that link down below for roto wire uh so you know who's going to be in or out if he is out that's going to be more reggie jackson taking over the reins at the point guard position okay 
So where are we going to go with in game one? Game one, Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets are a very strong home team here, um, obviously, and on in game ones as well. Very strong home team. Uh, I'm going to be leaning towards the Denver Nuggets in game number one, like the money line, very low money line there, minus 190. The spread, it can go either way, but I'm going to lean towards uh, the, the sharp money here. I think that the Nuggets can cover that four and a half as well. But in game ones, you do expect each other to fill each other out just a little bit. I think the, the, the fact that both of these teams had a long amount of days off in between games, they could be a little bit sluggish, probably miss a lot of shots here. The under has so much value in this game, especially at the beginning of a series. Uh, so go uh, get with especially two defensive teams here, especially Timberwolves with their size. And then Denver Nuggets have, has a very solid defense as well. Love the under 207 and a half. Fade the public on the total. Go with the under. So across the board, money line of the Nuggets. I like the Nuggets to cover the spread at four and a half. And if you're looking for the best value there, uh, the best play might be that under 207 and a half. I'm going to be leaning towards that in this one. All right. So unfortunately, only one game for Saturday. I'll be back very, I'll be back for the, tomorrow with the Sunday plays. We'll break that down, obviously. Uh, just enjoy this one play here. Uh, if you want to sign up for the premium picks, you sign up for that Patreon link down below. And I'll be back with another video very soon. All right. Peace out.